Good morning and welcome to 8 a.m. Your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, your daily weather outlook, and campus events. I'm your host, Nathan Bowman. People all over will be saying, may the force be with you today. That's because it's May 4th, otherwise known as Star Wars Day. Fans can celebrate by binging on all 11 live-action Star Wars movies and the two spin-off adventures on Disney+. It's 8 bucks a month to sign up for the streaming site, but only $3 to add on for Hulu subscribers. GameStop is also offering deals on Star Wars games, and Target has 30% off Star Wars toys. Ending the historic case of Roe v. Wade would affect anyone who believes in a free society. That word from former President Barack Obama. He posted a statement with former First Lady Michelle Obama, tweeting, If the Supreme Court overturns the ruling legalizing abortion, it would reverse nearly 50 years of precedent. They say the 1973 decision recognized a freedom that lets people enjoy a sphere of their lives that isn't subject to meddling from the state. Senator Chuck Grassley says it's no secret he has hoped Roe v. Wade would be overturned, as a draft U.S. Supreme Court opinion seems to indicate is imminent. But Grassley says there's no way to predict if any of the Supreme Court nominees he supported recently would vote to overturn the 1973 ruling that legalized abortion. He calls the leak a monumental breach of trust within our judicial system. Grassley led the Senate Judiciary Committee as it refused to consider President Obama's nominee to the Supreme Court, then confirmed two of President Trump's nominees. Two of the Democrats who hope to run against Grassley in the general election say the future of women's rights is at stake. The cool and wet weather has delayed planting in the state. The USDA crop report shows 9% of corn has been planted. That's 11 days behind last year and 9 days behind the 5-year average. 4% of soybeans are in the ground, which is 9 days behind last year and 5 days behind average. State climatologist Justin Glisson says there's no short-term indication when the cool, wet weather is going to end. And April, May, and June are traditionally the three wettest months of the year in Iowa. Planting last year moved ahead quickly, in part because it was a lot drier, and the dry conditions got worse as the year moved on. When we come back, we'll take a look at your WIT TV weather and your entertainment news. Stay with us. Watch us on WIT AM and This Week on Campus. News by students, for students. We report daily news that is relevant to you. Students can count on WIT AM Monday through Thursday for your morning news and This Week on Campus every Friday. My name is Tosin Hikioya and I will keep you up to date on weekly campus events and information. Check us out on youtube.com slash WIT TV and around campus so you never miss out on the latest events and information. Watch us on WIT AM and This Week on Campus. News by students, for students. We report news that is relevant to you. Students can count on WIT AM Mondays through Thursdays for their morning news and This Week on Campus every Friday. I'm Isabel Martinez, and I'll keep you up to date on campus events and information throughout the week. Check us out on youtube.com slash WIT TV and around campus so you never miss out on the latest events and information. Welcome back. The Peanuts gang is putting a stamp on its legacy once again. Charlie Brown and Snoopy are honoring their late creator. The Postal Service revealed new stamps coming this year that show 10 characters from the beloved Peanuts cartoon. There are two of each on the sheet with the 1987 photo of Charles Schultz in the middle. Other new designs include the Webb Space Telescope, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Christmas elves. A pet emu is home after wandering 30 miles away from its home in North Carolina. 
the emu named Kevin was spot, spotted wandering in Lenore, Lenoir, about 70 miles northwest of Charlotte, North Carolina. The police were contacted and they led the friendly bird into a fenced in yard and fed her snacks. Kevin was eventually returned to her family in Moravian Falls. Now taking a look in today's weather. Today it will be pretty cloudy for the day with pretty light winds with a high of 58. Tonight those rain chances are, will arrive going into the night and will help with the farmers growing their crops. Which This will happen around after 3 a.m. with a low around 38. And then tomorrow, we'll be seeing similar conditions with rain and a high of 56. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Have a wonderful day.